In this video, we'll be creating a key split sequencer patch using the 8 voice synthesizer. Because 8 Voice is made up of 8 individual voice modules, this allows for some unique patch possibilities by using the voices in different ways. To begin, let's solo Link Group 1 by using voices 1 through 4. Then, we'll create a filter sweeping bass patch with a low filter cutoff and high resonance, and a suitable amplitude and filter envelope. With that said, we'll drop these voices down into the bass range using the octave settings. Next, let's set up our second layer with Link Group 2 using voices 5 through 8 and solo it out. Here, we'll set up a bright plucking sound with a similar setup to our bass layer, but using the oscillators in a higher octave with a shorter decay setting. Now, we're ready to bring in the sequencer. First, we'll set these modules in group 2 to use the sequencer by using the sequencer toggle down near the voice settings. Now, we'll set our focus mode to the sequencer in the bottom panel. Here, we can use the 8-step sequencer to create a sequenced lead line for our patch. Let's set the mode to tempo synced and make sure the rate is set to 16th notes. The sequencer can be used in two main modes. Keyboard step, which advances the sequence by one step when a new note is played, and keyboard gate, which triggers the sequence to run for as long as a note is held. For this patch today, we'll use the keyboard gate mode. Now, we can choose between quantized and unquantized mode to set the notes for the sequencer. In quantized mode, the notes are set to a fixed note value. In unquantized mode, these are offset by a fixed value in semitones. In this patch today, we'll be using the unquantized mode. From here, we'll enter our sequence. If you'd ever like to silence a step in the sequencer, you can also turn the knob fully counterclockwise to turn it off. With our sequencer set up, we're almost ready to go. Let's hear how this sounds. If we unsolo the groups, however, we'll hear that the voices rotate all through the same range, and this is where we'll need to key split our instrument. To do this, we can click the Learn button in the key range area and define a key range for that voice or group of voices. Let's set our bass voices to the lower register where our left hand would play by learning the lowest note, then the highest note. Similarly, we'll do the same with our second group, but before we can do that, we'll need to switch the mode to poly B to indicate that this is a new group of voices. With that done, we'll learn the range for our right hand by playing the lowest note, and then the highest note. Now, with that, we've successfully divided up the voices into a key split patch. <laughs> For a bit of added interest, let's add a tempo synced dotted eighth note delay and then hear the final result. Cherry Audio 8 Voice Synthesizer is available now. 
For more information or to try it for yourself today, you can visit cherryaudio.com.